ABC 10 breaking news. That breaking news, a traffic stop turning deadly, a driver accused of running into a police officer, and that's when the officer opened fire and killed him. NBC 10's Johnny Archer is live at Einstein Hospital, where the Philadelphia Police Commissioner just gave an update on this investigation. Johnny? Yeah, Fred, so that officer is recovering tonight here at Einstein Hospital. The police commissioner says that he will get an MRI to see and find out the extent of his injuries, which are to his legs. But that officer was patrolling alone tonight and initiated a traffic stop, as you mentioned, that started this whole situation. And the police commissioner says that he is thankful for three civilians that helped detain another suspect who tried to run from the car. Those independent witnesses say they observe the car back into the police officer's car. Those independent witnesses say that they see the officer get out of the car and go up to the driver's side. Those independent witnesses say at some point they see the door open and then at some point they see the car turn into the officer, striking him and pinning him against the wall. Police say the witnesses saw the officer fire several rounds into the car at Adams and Newtown Avenues. At that same time, they also see a passenger exit that vehicle. Those same civilians and independent witnesses were able to grab that person and detain them. Police say they found the suspect's car two and a half blocks away in a driveway near Newtown Avenue and Benner Street. They say the driver had a gunshot to his head and body. He was later pronounced dead at Einstein Medical Center. The fact that we have three independent witnesses who would collectively decide, particularly with an officer who was by himself, solo, and engaged in this very, their act of bravery, we appreciate it. So the police commissioner says that that officer that was injured tonight, he has been on the force for eight years, is assigned to the 25th district. That officer was wearing body camera, and there was also surveillance video, that footage that they will be reviewing. Now they tell us that the police officer's name and the suspect's name, they have not been released at this time. We're live in North Philadelphia. Johnny Archer, NBC10 News. Okay, Johnny, thank you for that. And be sure to count on NBC10 for updates on this breaking story. We'll bring you any new information on air. You can also get breaking news alerts by downloading the free NBC10 app.